what's up you guys it is currently 85 degrees in texas in the beginning of march april sorry quarantine brain but i've been laying out by the pool been drinking virgin strawberry daiquiris because prego but yeah it's amazing however i don't like to always go unfaced into the world um i like to have some product on my face number one skin protection spf hello and who doesn't like mascara i mean really really if you are interested in a very simplistic look using just minimal products hang tight because i have a treat for you let's get started so i just washed my face and so I need to kind of prep it um, just because I do have naturally dry skin and if I don't, I just feel like dry and I'm like Kh. So first steps first, um, do you guys like rose water? Yeah, okay, except it comes in this huge jar and you're supposed to take like a cotton round and put it on and then like blot the face. Well, I'm a little extra and I like a mist. And so I bought these little cute, they're little glass bottles off Amazon. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll take it. Watch this. Done. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? If you need the link, let me know. It's super cute. Just drop a comment. Okay, so, yes. Then I like to go in with my eye cream. You guys know this is legit. This is good, good stuff. Anybody over 25 needs an eye cream. If you're not using eye cream, reach out to me. I hook you up. I got the goods. <laughs> it's really good for under eye um, because it's good for the crepiness and the dryness and that is very, very thin skin right there. So by applying extra moisture, you are helping prevent creasing and just like that dry looking under eye. I like to go in with our Calendula face cream. It's just for sensitive and dry skin. However, we have lots of options. So if you're acne prone, I'd recommend the tea tree. If you have um, a lot of redness, the rose water. Uh, collection. There's a whole rose line. Um, dry skin, calendula. Um, all skin type can really do the aloe vera, aloe vera skin line. And then of course we have our age reversist skin line. So good gut stuff. Today's look, like I showed you, is going to be a very neutral look. We've been hanging out by the pool. We've been in and out. It is hot today. It is currently April seventh I believe um, and it's like 85 degrees probably feels like 90 <laughs> it's hot. so we want to make sure our base is quick but it's gonna hold and it's gonna give us moisture but yet here's the big one boom 25 SPF yeah so we have a BB a BB cream that's not gonna offer as much coverage, but it's still really moisturizing and it's still really legit. And it's 15 SPF. So maybe you're not wanting as much SPF. There you go. Um, this is the 25 and that's what I prefer. So here we go. We're gonna put this on the face just like so. We have a couple shades of the CC cream. So if you have any questions, I can color match you, shoot me a message. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, and we can chat that way. So here we go. I'm just going to take a kabuki brush and blend it out. Make sure to blend down your neck. Y'all, check out that coverage. That's just the CC cream. Isn't it legit? Yeah. You can choose to do different steps at this point. You could go in with concealer and contour and powder and all of those things, which I normally do. But for the simple look, simplistic look, we're going to go in with our bronzer. This thing is ginormous. It's going to last you forever. <laughs> Take a little kind of angled, dense brush here. And we're going to apply it like kind of you would around the face to kind of give it some more definition. When you apply a foundation or a moisturizer, a tinted moisturizer with coverage, you're literally taking every dimension out. So you want to add it back in. How do you find dimension? You can do this. Oh, 
okay? There we go. I always start kind of back in this direction, bring it forward a little bit. I usually don't go any further than the middle of my pupil. pupil. I definitely don't want to go all the way to my mouth um, because then you're going to look like the Joker. Uh, it just doesn't look great. You can build coverage. This is a really popular bronzer for a lot, a lot of people. I like to apply around the forehead. You, you don't have to. Um, I just like kind of having an all-around bronze look. And I like to be really bronzy. Plus, we laid out. So I'm getting darker and my face needs to look the same. Blend with a fluffy brush or go back in with your foundation blush. Then I like to go in with our Tinder Blush. This is shade 06. Yes. In Rose Jam is the name. Um, so I just take a little bit of blush and we're going to apply that. I like to apply blush a little bit higher than the, the bronzer color. Not much. They still overlap, but a little bit higher. Now you guys know I need some brow help. <laughs> I mean, look at them. But I'm just going to do a very quick eyebrow look. We have lots of options to do brows. We have the brow mascara, we have the brow pomade, we have the brow powder, we have the brow liner. I'm going to use the liner today because mine's getting dull. <laughs> I need to sharpen it. We're of course going to fluff it out. The brow pencil is kind of a waxy texture, so I like to kind of just loosen everything back up. Okay, brows are done. Um, so now, what this is optional, you could go in with a bronzer um, and go with a really very subtle bronze lid. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit of cream shadow. This is the shade Pink Glow. If you don't have pink glow, you need it. It's beautiful. I'll show you. You just pop a little bit on your lid for some shimmer. Blend it out quickly because it does settle very quick. Isn't that stunning? Just for a very, very simple something on your lid, you know? Are you like that? You guys, cream shadows are bomb.com. If you don't have them, you need them. They do not go anywhere once they dry. They dry very quickly. Um, they do not crease. They are for every single eyelid type. Oily, mature, hooded, all the things. So grab you a cream eyeshadow. The next part of this look, I'm going to go in with a kind of a waterproof liner. Um, this is just, oh, I'm dropping stuff. This is just the um, Extra Last in Black. And I'm going to kind of do what they call a tight line, which I am going underneath the upper lid, just like that. Excuse my crazy faces I make. <laughs> Um, and naturally, a little bit just gets on the underneath part, which I'm good with because I don't like a ton of liner on my bottom lids. Okay, so now we're going to go on with mascara, and I'm going to go in with the Extreme Curl Mascara. Okay, and I'll go in with a second coat in just a second. I like to let the first kind of coat dry and then become kind of tacky and then I apply the second coat. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with layer two. It's 
so just a little tip this is the extreme curl um but another really really good one is the zen mascara it's only like $8.90 um and it's awesome because it has like double bristles um i've never used a silicone brush before until now um but that is kind of the silicone brush there and the shorter ones are perfect for under eye um, so this one is really good for lengthening and separating your lashes. And so the last and final step for this look are two lip products that I'm loving. The first is a lip conditioner. Rolls up like a lipstick. Love it. Oh, other way. Okay. And the other one is a lip plumper. Um, but I just like it because it applies extra moisture. Just like that. To recap, the main products we used today were the CC cream, which is bomb.com. If you don't have it, you need it. The bronzer, huge mambo jumbo bronzer. The blush, the brow pencil, and the eyeliner. <laughs> and then the mascara. So those were our main face products. They're excellent prices. Love them so much and our lip products. So that's all for today, a very simple look. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions on anything I used. I am an open book, and make sure to follow and like me on Instagram and Facebook. All right, see you guys, bye.